are getting the pop sound, right? That pop sound is generated because of the reason of the presence of hydrogen gas. Because of the hydrogen gas, we will be getting those pop sounds. Okay? And by this we can classify whether they are metals or non-metals. And now these metals react with sodium hydroxide that is NaOH in order to produce the hydrogen gas. All these metals will react with sodium hydroxide and they will be forming the metal oxides and they will be releasing out this hydrogen gas out. Therefore, we can say that this hydrogen gas will generate these pop salts and thus we can classify those materials as metals. Hope you understood how to differentiate the metals with the reaction of bases. Now, this reaction of non-metals with bases is very complex because it does split into two molecules as I said previously. I hope you know the displacement reactions. What do you mean by displacement reaction? For example, let us take this two and some other molecule. Okay, let us take copper sulfate. Now here you will be seeing that this will be displaced here. That this copper is displaced from copper sulfate and it moves towards the sodium hydroxide. And these sodium molecules will be displaced towards the copper sulfate. That means it is a double displacement reaction because copper Sodium is to a split it up. This type of reactions are known as displacement reactions where the molecules will be displaced from its compounds to other compounds. So now let us see these displacement reactions. Why these displacement reactions are there? Because these bases majorly go with these displacement reactions. So we will be seeing those reactions as very complex reactions because they will be resulting the products which are formed are also complex. Products. But while coming to these metals, they will be forming the single compounds, right? Single molecules that is hydrogen, oxygen, gas molecules that they will be dissipating them into the atmosphere. But while coming to these bases, they will not be generating those gases. Instead of generating, they will be forming the complex molecules that is complex compounds. So the bases that is the met non metals reacting with bases is complex. Okay. Now let us see some displacement reactions. How to identify the bases with this? That is not the non-metals. For example, let us see four equations. That is, copper sulfate is reacted with zinc granules, and second one is zinc sulfate is reacted with copper turnings, and third one is iron sulfate. That is, metal sulfate is reacted with copper turnings. And zinc sulfate is reacted with iron A. That means I have taken two compounds, three compounds that are copper sulfate, zinc sulfate, and iron sulfate, right? That is ferrosulfate. Now, these three sulfates will be reacted with three compounds that are zinc, iron, and copper. Now, we will be classifying them based upon these reactions. That means how they will be reacted. That is, we will be seeing the first reaction copper sulfate will be reacted with zinc granules here the displacement occurs that means you will be seeing that zinc will be transformed to copper sulfate that is zinc sulfate is formed and copper is released out that means here you will be seeing that displacement has been occurred now that zinc sulfate is colorless compound whereas this copper is red previously I have said copper metals will be Red, but in a, with the reaction with sulfate, there will be blue color, blue crystals. They will be formed. Those copper sulfate blue crystals, in turn, when reacted with zinc, they will be forming the zinc sulfate compound and copper. That means here the copper is a single molecule, right? And the copper molecules are red in color. That means the reactants are which are in blue color will be turned into products that is in red color. That means blue to red. I hope you understood. Acids will convert the red to blue and bases blue to red, right? Now here we will be seeing this another step that is zinc sulfate with copper turnings. Zinc with zinc sulfate is reacted with copper turnings. You will be same, you will be getting the same. That is 
water for prevention sake. Now let us see the fourth point that is the non metals used in water purification. Mostly we will be using this chlorine right in order to purify the water in order to uh, break down or uh, break down the complex molecules in the water or else in order to purify means that uh, any organisms like microorganisms in order to make them dead we will be using this chlorine for purification purpose in waters and the water boilers and candles which are used are made up of mostly with this chlorine material all this chlorine oxygen nitrogen phosphorus sulfur all these come under non metal section and these non metals are mostly used practically in our daily lives and by coming to metals we have seen aluminum steel copper are the most used metals and by this we can conclude the uses of metals and non metals in this section we have learned regarding the metals and non metals how they are classified based upon their physical properties and chemical properties by coming to physical properties we have seen about ductility malleability sonorous conduction and bad conductors and good conductors of heat and electricity while coming to chemical properties we have learned how these metals and non metals react with oxygen with acids and with bases and with water all these four types how they are reacted by those we have classified